Welcome to Skipomatics Model Mania. Thanks for stopping by. For those of you that are new and haven't seen my videos before, I'm Skip and this is Earl. And this is the third video in a little short series that I'm doing making silicone molds and casting resin parts. These molds are for parts for a model build we're doing right now. So today we're going to mix up some resin. We're going to pour it in these molds and we're gonna make some parts so without further ado let's get started so here we are ready to pour uh, we basically got to mix our resin up it's a 50 50 mix we have the we're using the Illuma res part A and part B uh, this mix is 50 50 it only has about two minutes work time and about a 30 minute cure time. So once we start mixing, we can't dilly dally. We gotta mix it and get it poured. So I've got everything pre-measured. Hopefully I've figured out my volume correctly. If not, well, we'll pull it out and mix some more. So let's get started. We're gonna pour the, the uh, rail bed base first. And then I'll mix up another little batch to do the actual uh, tr train rails. So let's get going. I'm going to mix, I'm gonna pour that in. That's about three and a half ounces. And it should be about. Actually, I think it's three and it's six and a half ounces, so it should be three and a quarter each. So I, I've tried to mix just a little extra. All right, I'm gonna pour. This is the part B. I'm gonna start. That is part B. Actually, this is part A. This is the catalyst. I'm gonna pour this in there, get it mixed up, and pour it in the mold. Start mixing it, and you'll start changing color. about a half a minute or so not much more than a minute so I'll make sure it's mixed up real good we'll probably do it right there when it starts to kick you'll know it now we're going to pour it in. It's starting to build heat up already. It's probably going to go a lot faster because I'm trying to pour it in one spot, let it self level. And did I make enough? Nope, not quite. I should have made more. Should have made more. Must have figured it out wrong. That's okay. Let's see, it's boy, there's heat coming off of it. But that's all right. There's enough there. I think it's going to make it. It's just almost to the bottom edge. See there, it's kicking off. You know, you can feel the heat coming off it. This is a thermal deal. You see it going. It is. It's like a little heater. There it is. It's starting to set up. 
Pretty cool, huh? Alright, let's see about making this piece. Actually, I'm going to use a smaller mix container. That'll eventually kick off in there, and when it does, this is flexible, I should be able to peel it out. Alright, so let's put in one. This one. And the larger the mass, the hotter and faster it'll kick off. I'll mix this up. I can feel the heat coming off that, that way up here. That's good. All right, I'm going to pour this in here. All right, so that's pretty much filled that up. Now this is going to squish out when I do this. Make sure I got my alignments. And then this is going to go, we're going to squish it out. It's going to come pouring out of there. I'm probably going to have a mess to clean up off my cutting board because it's probably going to run all the way out onto my board. But this usually peels off all right once it sets. So that's going to push that. So now I just need to put some weight on it let it cure. Alright, all I gotta do now is just let it sit here and cure for at least 30 minutes or so and uh, come back and see how these parts turned out. Okay, it's been over an hour so this is definitely set up enough to pull out of the molds. Let me take some of this stuff out of the way. Wait to hold that together. And first, let's do the base. I just flex the mold and it'll pop right out just like that. And as you can see, it's pretty much exactly what the mold is. And there's some little spots right there. I can drill those out for the pins on the rails to go on. It's pretty good. It warped just a little bit, but that's fine. If I have to, you can take some really some hot water and heat this and then hold it and let it cool off and it should straighten back out. That ain't too bad. It'll actually work just like it is. So there's that piece. You can tell. It's just a copy of that now. And that's that piece. Now we got these ones. So let's pull the top off this mold and of course we'll get all 
this resin that spilt out. this up off the base plate here get it started it comes off there pretty easy thing. Pull all this excess resin off. And voila. It's a little bit soft yet. All we gotta do is trim all this flashing off. And we'll have a couple pieces here. There's the molds. This is all scrap resin. And all we gotta do is flashing off it's one thing with resin there's usually a little bit of cleanup they just tear it right off That's all there is to it. I've had molds come out a lot cleaner than this, but for what this is, this is good.
basically it. So a little bit of cleanup here, a little bit of flash. And there we are. <clears throat> Some new rails. These are cleaned up. And then these pins, I'll drill those holes out and those will pop right in there. Perfect. These are still a little, a little bit soft. They'll cure some more. That's it. And there we will have our new rail bed base. And that's it. That's a quick and dirty simple mold, which I only plan on maybe using this a few more times, maybe two, three more times at the most. But now I have the molds, I can make a few more. I didn't have to sacrifice a whole kit. I can take the original parts. I'll need to wash them now. And I can reuse them. I can use them with the kit they're intended for. And that's it. Here's our new parts for the build that we're going to be doing next. And that wraps it up for this video. A uh, quick, easy way to make a nice mold when you need to save a part. From a kit and you want copies of it uh, so that's all there is to it all you gotta do is try it don't be scared so thanks for stopping by and watching me try to screw this all up and if you liked it come back and if you like the channel and you're new to this and you haven't subscribed yet uh, please subscribe you can come back and check these things out Thanks for stopping by. Catch you later.